But Bob tells the story of the tower collapsing on him in a matter-of-fact way. I don't think the shock of it all has hit him yet, but perhaps it's his way of dealing with it. We got to the uh, 26th floor, and when the whole building uh, shook, the lights flickered, uh, pretty loud noise. Uh, we looked at each other and immediately headed right back in the stairwell, and the lieutenant had said, you know, we're leaving. And as I turned the corner on the third floor landing, the, the stairwell just erupted into a, you know, a hurricane. And this huge incredible force of wind and debris actually came up the stairs, uh, knocked my helmet off, knocked me to the ground. It's pitch black, uh, large amounts of dust in the stairwell. So as I was crawling around to start down the next set of stairs, the landing just collapsed underneath me. So I dropped pretty much a, a full floor. When I finally came to stop, I was uh, hanging from a beam that was in between my legs. And uh, I was probably maybe four or five feet off the first floor. After maybe, I don't know, 30 or 40 seconds, you could start to hear voices in the stairwell. And, uh, tried to open your eyes up, but it was next to impossible. You can only keep your eyes open for maybe five or six seconds before the dust just forced you to shut them. And, uh, but I remember hearing voices. I remember hearing my lieutenant calling for me, asking me where I was. And then at this point, I could also start hearing other firemen in the uh, stairwell, you know, who's there, who's that, where are you? And then there was a chief that was uh, still alive for a while, probably he was alive with us for maybe an hour and a half. And then uh, we really didn't hear anything from him. But it was probably after maybe three or four hours that enough of the dust settled and everything that uh, one of the guys that was up above us, you know, said he thought he could see the sky. And, uh, you know, I remember thinking to myself, I don't know how this guy can see the sky. We're on the second floor, of, you know, of a, of a skyscraper. But, you know, he was right. As the dust settled, he was able to, to see out the top of the stairwell and he could actually see the sky. And then to see the sight walking out of the stairwell, I mean, it looked like something out of, out of a movie. You know, I couldn't even, I couldn't even believe it. You know, unless you were there, you wouldn't really believe it. You know, if you didn't know what was going on, and if you clicked on the TV, you'd probably thought you were watching a science fiction movie and not looking at Lower Manhattan. 